Hello, 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 everyone. sound plan while I am also recording. Let's see, I go put down here. Go, let's see. Let's if I say hi in the chat. If my mouse will work. Oh, I unplugged the mouse. Oh my goodness gracious. We'll get it going yet, kids. Kids. <laughs> Which one's my mouse? This is why they call it live. Doing what you love. Doing what you love. Just do it. Okay, let's see. Plug that in. That helps here. I know. Let's put down here. I'm going to say hi. Oh, hi, Sunny. Hello, Greg. All right. <laughs> now I get to start my show. Uh, this is Cynthia Toit, your hidden love story, where we're here flipping your emotional feels around to better. And this today's episode is doing what you love. My main reason for doing this show is um, so we're taking those internal messages that are coming in to us, those ones that are so heavy, those ones that are so like intense, those ones that can take us under. There we got more technical stuff. <laughs> there's, there's ones that um, can um, that actually can take our breath away. They can take actually our life away. Not that it's taking our physical life, but it's taking you know our momentum away. It's taking our uh, our oomph away. And what we want to do is to um, what I try to not what I try to do. What we do is we actually take the story that's been written in the past and we rewrite that story so it brings a new emotional feeling to that old feeling. So when we ever think about that same situation in the past, it actually doesn't hit us the same way. It's not so hard, it's not so heavy because we've given it a new story. In fact, the old story won't ever exist anymore because we flipped it into a new story. We're replacing those old, old emotional feelings with new feelings to better serve our soul. It only takes a moment, it only takes a moment in time to flip that script around to something better to serve you so you're operating from a higher vibrational way. But it takes consistency to keep it going. Because we have to believe in the new story that we're giving ourselves. We have to believe it so much that it erases that old story and puts this new story in. Today is, um, the episode's about doing what you love. And the reason why I wanted to talk about this is I wouldn't be here right here right now today if I wasn't doing what I loved. And, um, my, I always like to put in a little story before I get into the episode, and the story has to do with, I would say it was about three years ago that um, I was down um, at a uh, network TV station, and I was there for um, someone else was doing podcast shows training, and I was there to see if that's what I wanted to do. And this is where my hidden love story actually started that I didn't even know. And it's the universe that knows. I don't think anybody knew about the, you know, why it was starting. But there was some seeds that were being planted at that time. Um, also went to be on stage that year, too. I went on a live event 
to go on stage so I could be on stage <laughs> to see what it felt like. And I felt more at home, more at peace when I was up on stage. I was actually doing something that I loved and it felt great and amazing. And it was a, about another year went by and I come across somebody's stuff online. And the moment I come across their stuff, I knew that I was on this spiritual journey to be doing exactly this with that person. <laughs> I knew it so intensely that I got in my car and I made a round trip of a thousand miles. <laughs> but the timing still wasn't right for this hidden love story to even connect. But the universe still had some play in what's going on here. Because another year from there went, came and um, all of a sudden there were some doors that were starting to open. Not necessarily my doors, they were the universal doors. The universe kept giving me signs, almost daily, to lead and guide me on this magical journey. This magical journey that has this hidden love story in the middle of it. That I fell so deeply and completely in love with myself, in love with life, in love with the process of life and in love with who I am becoming because I chose to follow the signs, the, the signs to my own happiness. And that's why you find me here today on your hidden love story. So we can help dig your hidden love story out to the surface so you can find that love within yourself that's so deep, so, so unique, so radiant, that all you do is shine. No matter what you do, you're shining. You're shining with this love, this radiant love. And you shine so much with that love, all you're going to do is attract that type of love back into your life. And who doesn't want two people that are definitely completely in love with themselves <laughs> to share their lives together with each other? That's why I have your hidden love story because I've taken my life and I've flipped it around to better. Okay, right now I have a little commercial break and then we'll get into the show. Let's check out what kind of commercial I got today. Oh, I have to go here because my thing's not set up there. We'll do this one. <music> about Kathleen Diane and her YouTube channel, Real Life Reflections. Go over there and check out her channel because she talks about accepting those lower emotional feelings, those bad ones, those ones that don't make us happy, those sad ones, those, those uh, angry ones, all of those just as much as we accept those higher vibrational ones. Go over there and see how she puts her script around to a better script. Go watch her channel right now. Kathleen Diane. Real life reflections. Well, how do you like that commercial? Oh, you're here? Look at you. Real life Re reflections is here on my channel, too. Ooh, how cool is that? See, that's about being, doing something that you love. I mean, I'm doing something I love, and I've inspired Kathy. She's doing something she loved, and she inspired me to make a commercial for her on my show. <laughs> and, I, and she didn't even know it, but I bet she's surprised. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. <laughs> that's the way I am. I just love life so much that I love to share my love out back to the world, and I like to give them gifts and surprises like that, that they don't even know that are coming. But I tell you what, it makes their heart go thump, 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 because it was a special, unique kind of love that they just got. Why do you, um, I'm going to go into why do you want to um, do what you love, do what you love. Why? It gives you strength. It gives you momentum. When you're doing something that you love, you are investing your time. And you're not really looking at the time. In fact, you're doing what you love so much that you lost track of time. How cool is that? Losing track of time? Who needs a clock anyhow when you're doing something you love? You're doing it because you, you're loving it and you're getting lost in that time. It gives you strength. 
it gives you momentum. It gives you courage. It gives you action. It gives you, um, it almost makes you really like courageous. Like you're ready to conquer the world in this new magical way. <laughs> this new magical way. That's what I gotta say. Um, what's another reason that you want to do what you love? What happens when you're doing what you love is you become more engaged. You become more de de dedicated. You become more interested in what it is that you're doing. You actually can get more done when you're doing what you love because of that momentum that's there. You all of a sudden doing this and you're doing that. You give me more to do and I'm getting more done because I'm operating from this loving space because I'm doing things that I love doing. Like tonight, I'm on this live show and I love being here. I should check to see what my chat says. It says, oh, what's, oh, somebody super sleepy. Oh, that was real life reflections. But I bet I woke her up with that commercial though. <laughs> Very nice. Thanks, amazing. No way. You're the best. Yeah, I'm trying to be. <laughs> That's timing. Um, yes, what is nice. You're, what a nice surprise. Yes, you are welcome. I did surprise her just like I wanted to. <laughs> when you're doing something that you love, rather it's writing a book, rather it's painting, rather it's playing music, rather it's talking to a friend on the phone. You get so lost in that time, but you, you're actually engaging more with that time too. Also, you will, um, it, it serves you better. You will serve, you will serve others better. You will be more efficient at what you do and you'll be more successful at it just because you're loving what you're doing. It is that higher vibrational way that we're investing in. <laughs> that <laughs> my hidden love story shows up on my phones. <laughs> what can I say? Uh, that's what I mean. It gives me messages all day, every day. And it's so much that it's so intense for me to share my story in one breath and one moment is a little too much because why because we're not used to thinking that way we're not used to thinking that love comes to us that easy that life is actually feeding us messages and stories all the time to help hold your balance to help lead you to help guide you to help let you know that everything is okay to help let you know that you deserve the best and you are going to accept the best right now why because you love doing what you're doing and when you when you love doing what you're doing you're open it's like opening this channel up to this bigger way you just opened up that i'm willing to accept more into my life because i'm doing the things that i love in fact, I'm doing the things that I love so much that really has a lot of things to do in the background. But the universe is helping me out by giving me little angels in the background. They help me all the time. They come in from out of nowhere. A couple months ago, I, I had a friend, one of my angels, come to my home and I had all of my jewels that had been broken from these spiritual attacks that I've been getting. And she came and she fixed them all up. And when she came, she also noticed the walls in my house were bare. But they're not bare anymore. They're very colorful. They got butterflies and lions <laughs> on my walls and all my crystals and my Huntington Beach Bridge. And yeah, it's pretty cool. I have my fairies up there. And then I had my little angels come also. This is because I'm working in my higher vibrational way. I'm working from a loving self. Things are showing up for me to help me do what I love doing without me even asking or knowing that I need that type of help. I don't know that I needed the help that I needed to set my studio up. In fact, I didn't even know I was gonna go become a TV host, talk show program 
three months ago, and two months ago, I said, oh, I'm going to do this because it seemed like the right thing to do. This has something to do with that network TV person that I saw online a couple of years ago that really inspired me. And, you know, I knew that was the direction I was going. And um, I still believe that we have a, um, a spiritual journey to go on. We have, it's like, we both know how to, we have our ways of speaking to the people that help heal the people in their emotional ways in some way or another. And I have one way and they have another way. And I just really, really believe, not just, it's not like I believe, it's like the universe keeps showing me, this is what needs to be done. Because we could work together very good as a team, a team player to make it stronger. It's like, so we're not half, we're whole. Even though I'm whole without, but to have two people working on the same mission, going in the same direction, wanting to spread the, the news and the word on a bigger level, and isn't a sh afraid of the camera, <laughs> or are not afraid to talk, <laughs> then I think that's pretty cool and pretty awesome and pretty amazing. And the universe is still setting things up in ways that I don't even know right now. It's in the universe's hands. It's not mine. It's not theirs. It's in the universe's hands. The universe is taking care of the last fine details that need to be put into place. Why is that happening? Because I'm doing what I love and they're probably doing what they love too. No, they're not probably, they are doing what they love. <laughs> and um, so when we're doing what we love, we're more radiant, we're more vibrant. We have this higher vibrable way and um, it makes you more ready, more ready for more information, more ready to learn new ways, more ready to grow, to expand. It's, just, it's almost like being that little child and go, what's next? Well, what's next? My hidden love story is showing up on my phone again. <laughs> okay, what's next? What's next? And let's see. Every day they compliment each other your way or their way. <laughs> you think of them every day. <laughs> I don't think it happens. It it shows me. It, it It's not like I'm even looking for the messages anymore. I already know the messages are going to come. It's, but the universe knows exactly what to put in front of me to take my mind, to take my thought, and to reroute it, to reroute it to that same direction, to that same spiritual connection. When we are doing what we love, we can attract so, so many amazing things into our lives. You, when we're doing what we love, you know what? You're actually then living life. We have lived our life so long um, doing what we thought we were supposed to be doing. We were living our lives doing because somebody told us that's the way to live. But as years come and go, sometimes you might be going, is this all that life is? Is I gotta get up, I gotta go to the bathroom, I gotta go eat, I gotta go to work, I gotta make money, I gotta come home, I gotta eat again, I gotta clean my house, I gotta go to bed, and then tomorrow I gotta start over and do it again. No, that, that's not life. Life is when you're actually in love with the things that you're doing. You're getting up, and it doesn't matter what time of the day it is, because you get enough to do it on your time, and you're well taken care of, and um, what you're doing, what you love, somehow because you love it so much, it actually becomes your source of income because people want to invest in you because of how vibrant you are because of the, of the of the love that you're putting into your product or into your service people want to be a part of that loving vibrational way so when you're actually doing the things that you love you start you're claiming your life this is, i can claim my life you can claim your life, and you can claim your life, and that's when you—that's when you really start serving from a greater purpose, from a higher purpose. It's kind of really pretty cool. <laughs> when we actually fall deeply and completely in love with yourself, 
when, when you're actually doing something that you love, it, it actually fills your body, it fills your soul up with this love, this vibrant love. It's because I just got done milking the cow. <laughs> and I tell you what, I got me a gallon of milk and you know what, I'm gonna drink it. I mean, just, just the excitement that a milk can actually come out of a cow that we can actually drink. I mean, just something like that. It's a divineness. It's a, a excitement. It's it's almost like everything that you touch is magical. Everything that you touch, you go, oh, this is cool. It's like a little kid. You like we're an adult living from the childlike mind. That means playful, joyful, excited, uh, joyful, uh, I said that, uh, glee, um, jumping up and down. And not, we're not really thinking about our next move. We're just making that next move because we know that next move is exactly, we're, we're not even thinking about it. It just happens because we're so lost in the things that we are doing. Let's see. Um, I'm going to do another commercial break and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to give you some, let me check out the time. Yeah, I'm going to check and then I'm going to give you um, some things to write down, some homework assignment. Well, it's not an assignment. It's just something you write down like affirmation kind of like thing. And then after that, I'll end the show and then we'll go into um, doing some card readings. Oh, Monday tarot card. Ooh, I love that. I hope you do. <laughs> now, let's see. When I said another commercial, let's see what commercial I'm going to do now. Check this one out. You think Kathy's was cool. Check this one out. <laughs> I'm sponsoring people today. Let's just put it that way. Sometimes we're just looking for the right place to hang out. Have you ever thought about a spiritual network on TV to watch? What channel you would go to? What group you would go to? Have you ever tried High Vibe TV? They have an app, you can download it, and you can try it out for seven days. And then after that, it's only like maybe $10 a month, and you can get astrology the way that you never ever heard it before, because he gets really deep. He gets into deep stuff to how the world is operating, to, to how the astrology chart goes. And there's tarot readers, and but my favorite thing is spiritual dance music. On every full moon and new moon, he comes out and he puts this awesome, amazing um, prayer together and he puts this music together so we can shake that crap of the old past off and bring the new vibrant way in for a high vibrable way. So you ought to try High Vibe TV in your spare time when you need something to do. Till next time, have a beautiful day. <laughs> How'd you like that one? <laughs> I vibe commercial too. Oh, uh, yeah. I did. Yeah. Well, thank you. I'm just getting creative with my commercials, and since I'm trying to act like a TV network thing, <laughs> when I want to actually go to a TV network, some of them have commercials, and I have to be prepared to be able to do that. Yeah, so I'm practicing. So thanks for allowing me to practice on you kids. <laughs> so, um, your homework or this thing, what I want you to do is um, spiritual dance music is the best I, every every two weeks. It's every full moon or every new moon and it is about shaking the old garbage away, letting it off, let, let, shake it out, shake it out of your system. And when you're shaking it out, you're bringing this, you're allowing more room to come in and you're opening up and you're allowing newness to come so we got that new way the new beginning it's like we got the old done so we can step into the new <laughs> let go of that old stuff whatever it is whatever it is that you think you've done wrong or you think that is not right just go ahead and let go of it shake it out <laughs> so loving yourself um i want you to write down five things that make you unique 
five things that make you unique or special. And then I also want you to write down five things that you like to do. That is, you know, just something that you can actually get lost in time with. <laughs> you're welcome, you're welcome. So, once you have those five things that you're unique with and five things that you like to do, five things that you that makes you unique and five things that you like to do, I want you to take that, those images and lay down or sit up for 10, 15, 20 minutes minimum, I would say. Yeah, number one is have an imagination. Imagination is, is great as long as you're using the imagination for your healthy soul and not... Um, as long as that imagination is operating from love and any emotion above love. If the imagination is working from anything below love, it can um, uh, yeah, take our breath away. <laughs> but we want to make sure our imagination is working in that higher vibrational way. I want you to take those five ways that you're unique with and five things that you're good at, and I want you to meditate for 20 minutes with those visions in your head to see if you can allow yourself to, you know, see how new ideas and new ways can just float into you about, you know, okay, like myself, I'm doing the video recording and I'm doing these commercials and how the commercials come up to my ideas. I lay down and I'm going, what will make my show special? What can be unique? And I'll lay down for that 10, 20, 20, 10, 15, 20 minutes most of the time. And um, I allow that information to come surface in that clear space because I have emptied my mind to allow my imagination to work for the better source, for my better soul in that happy space because I'm working with my unique self and I'm working with things that I love to do. And now I'm letting my mind or that space in my mind <laughs> to give me more information on how I can put it together in this uh, magical, beautiful way. Then next, I want you to make sure, um, these are different days. I mean, you don't have to do it all at one moment. Next is you, um, with the, those unique things about yourself, take a bubble bath or a salt water bath, light some candles, and reflect on how amazing you are. And if you don't have a bathtub, another thing that you could substitute that with is Look yourself in the mirror, eye to eye, and tell yourself how amazing you are. Say, you're amazing, you're awesome, you're unique, you're one of a kind special. You're out of this world crazy special. I'm so happy that you're here to be here with me because I'm talking to myself, looking myself in the eye. <laughs> and it's amazing how that shifts things around and it allows you to embrace that better feeling of a way. Then on another day, forgive yourself for one thing that's been bothering you lately. Take, you know, have one thing that's been bothering you. Take that one, you know, it's like if you have the laundry basket and you have that last thing on top of the laundry basket, I want you to take that one that's at the bottom of the laundry basket and pull it up and let you deal with that. Take that one thing at the bottom of that laundry basket that you're so upset about or that just really get your go and forgive yourself and the way I forgive myself I say um, I act like I'm, I, I don't well, I'm the mother and I have my child within and I'll go I am so sorry please forgive me I love you and thank you that's my forgiveness program it is called uh, Hanapono Ono and I know I messed it all up but <laughs> there um, it is something that works. Just tell that inner child that you're sorry as the adult that you didn't see that. And then you're asking the child, please forgive me because I truly do love you. And then you're saying, thank you for accepting my forgiveness. And that helps eliminate that one big thing that's been piling up on you that you that's been bothering you forgive yourself for it because we don't need to allow ourselves to be bothered and then the last thing is 
try something new for two hours, you know, just a new hobby, a new gift, or do something a different way to see if you can find a fun, playful way at, at um, whatever it is that you decided to create. And, and know when, when you are connected to your joyful presence that you actually do attract support from the universe. And, and the universe works really fast when you're having fun at what you're doing. So the more fun we're having, the faster the universe is providing for us. Isn't that kind of cool? I think I'm going to go have some more fun so I can have the universe provide more for me. <laughs> Nice, thank you. They are fun. Number one, I have an imagination. <laughs> and this message was held for review. <laughs> I wonder what he said. <laughs> Something new. Clean the house? <laughs> well, you know, I find, like, if I just think I gotta go clean the house, you know, I don't, that, that's not really the thing I want to do. But if I find that I'm in the higher vibrational way, it doesn't matter what I'm doing, I can go clean that house and have fun. Because I'm, you know, enjoying that I have this home and I'm enjoying that I have whatever part I'm cleaning and, you know, I just throw a new, uh, brand new emotional feeling into it. So when I'm done cleaning that part of the house, it's magical. It's different. It's crazy unique. Know that your happiness is a direct ref reflection on how much faith you have in the universe. Mm -hmm. Isn't that nice to know? <laughs> Our happiness has to do with how much faith we have in the universe. Because if I'm doubtful, that means I doubt that the universe is going to provide for me. But when I'm happy, I don't even worry about it. I know the universe is providing for me. <laughs> so, <laughs> let me see. Real life. I don't know what to want me to see what was being held for. I don't know, it said something was being held for review, but I don't see. Okay. Uh, let's see. And when you accept the love of the universe as your primary teacher, you will always be guided back to light. Because that's what the universe does, you know. <laughs> it guides you back to the light. Let's show her 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 the light. <laughs> Did she learn it yet? <laughs> well, I think if she's laughing and smiling and giggling, I think she found the light. And know that you are a loving... Know that the energy that you have is the energy that you feed out to the universe. And so when, you, when you're the loving energy that loving energy of the universe, then you get to feel blissful, you get to feel peaceful, you get to feel happy. Just embrace this vibrant way that the universe has to provide for us. All right, let's see, I'm gonna get ready to go do some card readings, but that's it for the show today. I will have be back here again next Friday. Next Friday, where's Friday coming in? I didn't know I was doing Fridays. I thought I did Mondays. <laughs> Mondays, every Mondays at 9.30 Pacific Standard Time, and we'll be live again. And I'm going to end just this part of the show, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm going to do a Monday tarot deck reading and see what loving story I can pull out of that. I know it's going to be a beautiful one. What about you? 